for tickets. You made calls because you wanted to be part of something in the Mahoning Valley. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the stars of the show today. Here are our special guests. It ain't my thing. But, uh, and I don't play parties, but I do play the man. And I've known this man my entire life. Uh, I, and he'll elaborate on this later, but his father delivered me. And so when I say I've known him my whole life, I've known him my whole life. And his, his father was my doctor for uh, the first 12 years of my life. And I spent a great deal of that in the emergency room in that man's company. <laughs> and he taught me about patience and compassion. And he taught me how to sew myself up. And he, um, he really did, and, and that all came to serve me very well a couple of weeks ago when I had a fundraiser for Sharon at my house. And uh, the caterers were coming, they were bringing some food and a couple of tables because I wanted it to be a small affair, but even that made me nervous. And my son came up to me and he said, Dad, what, what's that stuff for? And I said, well, I'm having a party, son. He says, you hate parties, Dad. <laughs> I said, yeah, I do, son. It's not really my thing. I, I don't like to have a lot of people at the house. I don't like crowds. But um, there's a man who was running for a very important office, and I've known this man a long time. And I feel it's very important, not just because I've known him, but because I know the state he represents. I know how beautiful it is. I know how great the people are. Because that's where we're from, son. You don't know that, but that's where dad's from. And it's called Ohio, and it's really important. So I need to help this man. So I'm willing to do something that is a little uncomfortable for me, and it's gonna take a little bravery on my part, but I'm gonna do it because it's the best thing for this country. And this one guy can really help this country, so I need to do it. Yeah. That's what I said. Thank you very much. I learned that from Dr. Brown. And uh, most importantly, I learned from Dr. Brown how to tell that to a 10-year-old to make it make sense to him, and that's what we gotta do. We gotta tell our 10-year-olds so they all know so that they become registered voters and down the road, Ohio is a big voting machine. And we know that it can be. Because now the world is watching and now they see the power of Ohio. Now they see that we work hard with our backs, we work hard with our heads, and we got a lot of heart. And the, the, the sweeping, massive change that needs to take place in this country is going to start right here. And I keep telling everybody, Ohio is the place. Ohio is the place. Um, I graduated from high school here. And I didn't go to college. I have a high school education from Fredericktown, Ohio. That's right. And with that education, I've been able to travel the world. I mean, kings, queens, I've met people hugely educated, and I can hold my own. Why? Because my education was given to me in Ohio, and I paid some attention. I know it's hard for some of you kids to get to uh, college right now, especially with the way tuitions are going, and they're going higher and higher, and we're going to stop that. I want you to know about that, because I, I actually would like to go to college, and when I do, I'll probably go in Ohio. <laughs> the only other thing I wanted to touch on today, before I get out of here and let the real people speak, 
yesterday I did some things with Sharon and they were on the radio and, the, and uh, as I was driving to the next venue, which was two hours later, I received a call from a friend of mine on my cell phone from Crestline, Ohio. And uh, we used to live together side by side in the trailer park in Lexington in Morrow County. And uh, he said, hey man, you gotta tell these guys something for me. I said, all right, Chad, what do I gotta tell them? He goes, tell them I just got back from 10 months in Iraq. And in that 10 months, I had to drive a truck for our government. And on that truck, there was no armor. And he was scared to death all the time. So what he and another buddy did was they went to a junkyard, found some armor, welded it on the side of their truck, and now they're rolling in the Ohio Mobile. And they got the armor on the side. And they're good. That's great. And that's wonderful. And that's good news, and that's ingenuity. But there were a lot of young men from Ohio that went to Iraq that are not coming back. And we all hear about it too often. And I'm sick of hearing about it. And um, we have a chance to put people in office that know how to deal with this problem, that in fact acknowledge that it is a problem, and we've got to do something about it. Those young men that left the cornfields and the bean fields of Ohio, where they could be here serving us growing alternative fuel, <coughs> instead got sucked in by the big oil companies to go and die on a battlefield in another country. <laughs> Fantastic successes and charismatic performances because